Hi there, it's Kim again. Um, this time I'm just burning a piece of pallet wood. It's ordinary pallet wood, just a piece of pine, not even that pretty. Uh, what I did was I ripped it to size on uh, on the table saw. Nothing, nothing big, no measurements, no nothing, just cut it. Then I threw it out in the driveway and now you see me burning it. Uh, it's a Japanese technique as far as I can tell, uh, figure out. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I should try to to, to say what it's called. Uh, Sosoki ban or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I ain't Japanese. The technique is supposed to uh, prevent infestations of bugs and prevent wrath and generally protect it against the uh, elements. Uh, you just burn it till it begins to crack, uh, get scorch, scorched. And that's it. No big deal. It's pretty easy. A better propane torch than mine probably would be a good idea. I'm running out of propane, so Actually, I was quite worried that I might not uh, have enough propane to finish it, but I had. It worked. All good. After you burn it, you just get a good brush and you just brush it, uh, get all of the charcoals off and make it uh, look good. And here in a couple of seconds, I'll show you how it looks. I'll take a look at this. That piece is actually a piece of pallet wood. It's ordinary pallet wood. And uh, as it is right now, when you touch it, you get your fingers dirty. So what I'm doing here is actually just washing the piece of board and then drying it with a a piece of cloth. Uh, just don't wash it down. Just take a a wet rag. Just remember, the rag will be very dirty afterwards. Uh, that will prevent it from uh, staining your fingers when you touch it. Touch it in the future. Uh, you can, of course, apply finishes and stuff on it. I drilled all the way through in one go. Not a good idea. But a little bit of glue and it'll be okay. It'll be on the top side of it and no one will ever see it. And while I was doing this, I still just wanted it to be temporary. So basically what I'm doing now is just I'm just wiring up those uh, light fixtures. Um, I'll recommend that if you don't have any idea about how power works, uh, electricity works, don't, don't go around and do stuff like this. Uh, but in reality, it's uh, this part is fairly simple. There are two wires, no, actually there is room for three, but uh, there are only two in my uh, ceiling outlet. So. Um, and uh, I don't know the English words for it, but there are two wires. So it's just to hook them up and that's it. Um, the fluorescent light tubes that I'm using here is actually the old one from my garage. Uh, they are warm white so they wasn't good for video recording. Um, so I got myself some cold one and I hope the lighting on, on, on this video is okay. Um, I uh, I don't want to do a lot of uh, tweaking with the lighting because it's beyond my comprehension. So what I'm doing here is that I'm putting on some hooks and I decided to uh, just hang the lamp from a chain. That way it would be adjustable. Just count the amounts of uh, links in the chain and it theoretically should be the same uh, length. So that's what I'm doing. 
just playing with the chain. By the way, I bought way too much chain. I uh, made two hooks for the ceiling. I just took those uh, and opened them up. And basically it's straightforward from here. Just put up a hook, attach the chain, move on, next one. Here you see what I was think, uh, talking about with I bought too much chain, but better too much than not enough. Oh, so much work, all for nothing. Putting the cable underneath the ceiling and Attaching the plug just to find out that, well, the ceiling outlet didn't work. Yep, it's right. Doesn't work. No power. Now, what I'm doing right here, I don't think that you should go and do that. Um, you need to know what you're doing anyway, uh, because as I, the text clearly states, warning, electricity is dangerous, it can kill you, yep, electricity can kill you, so please don't, don't, no, I told you, don't do it, well, basically it's up to you, I, I can't tell you what to do, but I want you. I did want you. Now um, that's it for for now. Uh, I'll just uh, say thank you for watching and please take care of yourself. Be careful out there.